Swear I won't forget this Why do I regret this? In my mind reckless Thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless Anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless Betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open I hate being broken I feel like an ocean Filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion Rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking Reopen The scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go Hello everyone, this is me Abriti from How to Electronics. So today I will be unboxing and giving you the detail of the world's smallest 6 DOF robot called Mycobot. Recently I got this amazing robot from a Chinese company called Elephant Robotics. Mycobot is the world's smallest and lightest 6-axis collaborative robot jointly produced by Elephant Robotics and M5 Stack. It is more than a productivity tool full of imagination. With a weight of 850 gram, a payload of 250 gram, and an arm's length of 350 mm, my cobot is compact but powerful. It can be matched with a variety of projects to adapt to different kinds of application scenarios. It also supports the secondary development of multi-platform software to meet the needs of various scenarios such as scientific research and education, smart home, light industry, and commercial applications. As seen here at the base, it has an M5 stack with a display screen that displays the various events here. And there are three buttons for multipurpose applications. At the bottom, it has holes for attaching to any object with a screw. An SD card can be inserted here and some input-output results can be achieved from these GPIO pins. On this side, there is a red button that can be pressed for reset or power. This is a Type-C port for programming and serial communication and also a 4-pin connector for power supply. A dedicated DC socket is here to run all the servos. These are GPIO pins for external interfacing. Even at the top, you can see other GPIO pins. And on the other side, there are 10 GPIO pins and a few power pins. As clearly mentioned here, the product is developed by Elephant Robotics and the model number is MyCobot 280 with 6 degrees of freedom. The power required is 8.4 volt with a minimum of 5 ampere current. At the top of the robot, there are displays a screen supporting a fast LED library to show the expanded application scene more easily and clearly. The top section also contains a GPIO pins and Type-C USB for serial communication. And here you can see the head or the eye of this robot. It has so many holes. Basically, these are plenty of accessories that can be attached here. The accessories include pick and placeholder, grip tool and so many others. Let me show you the 6 degrees of freedom. This is the first one that rotates 180 degree. This is the second one. This is the third one. The fourth one also rotates the 180 degree. This top part is the fifth one. And this is the sixth one. This tiny little one also rotates 360 degrees. While talking about the power supply, it comes with an adapter specially designed for this robot. The adapter gives an output of DC 8.4 volt with a current of up to 5 ampere. Here are some male to female jumper wires which can be connected to M5 stack. A Type-C USB cable can be used to connect the robot to the computer and to the serial programming. There are four screws with the robot that can be attached at the bottom to use for mounting to any surface. The portion also comes with an instruction manual that explains how to set up and use the robot. Here is the size and working range diagram. And this is internal of M5 stack which has all sorts of diagrammatic overview. As you will go through the manual, you will see all the difference between other robots and my studio software. Let's power on this robot using the DC power adapter. 
there is a firmware loaded initially and on the display screen there are three options like play record and exit as a demo let's record the moment first to do that click on record then click on drum as we will store the moment in ram memory not the flash so the recording started now rotate the robot in any direction rotate all the six motors the moment will be recorded all at once and at last press on stop button to stop recording now to play the recording press the play button and play from ram so the moment that you recorded earlier will come into play this is really amazing isn't it it looks super cool just record the moment and play it Okay, apart from this, we can perform multiple other tasks as well. For that, visit the official website of Elephant Robotics. Here are the details of the robot. The working radius is 280mm with repeatability of 0.5mm and with a payload of 250g. You can check the details of other technical parameter as well. Inside the main control board, it has an ESP32 chip with both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capability. There is also an inbuilt lithium-ion battery and a small speaker occupied with a 3D antenna of 2.4C. The voice control board, which is placed at the top, has an M5 stack atom with a splash memory of 4 MB and an input voltage of 5V. The RGB lead used here is WS2812C. It also has an MPU6050 accelerometer and a gyroscope sensor for balancing. Rest of the things you can check on the instruction manual. To program this board, we need to download a software called MyStudio. This software is specially designed for programming and interfacing this robot with multiple applications. So click on go to download here. From this page, download MyStudio app for Windows or Linux or Mac depending upon your operating system. You can also visit the GitHub repository to download the MyStudio app. And after downloading, install this app. Once the installation is completed, open it. Plug a Type-C cable into the M5 stack board and power on the robot. Open the MyStudio app. The port will be automatically detected and will appear as basic. Select the English language and also select the location. And also select the model of robot that you are using. Then click on connect. So here is the main screen that appears for this app. On the left side, you can see the options as basic and then applications, tools, documents and other useful options. We will check all of them now. On the section of application, there is so much firmware for other applications which are for accessories control. In the tools part, we have an option to check the PID control and test the servos. On the tutorial part, there are so many videos that can explain how to use this robot. And in the document part, complete documentation of the use and application of robot is explained. You can follow this guide for better understanding. When you check the handbooks option, there I can see the user manual, the product introduction and the communication protocol. All are having the PDF document, so you can download all these documents and keep them as a written note for more understanding and better explanation. Now let's do the programming part. So go to basic and here you will find my cobot BLE option. From the drop down menu select the version. Then click on flash. So flashing will be done very quickly and in the robot M5 stack screen you will see an option to connect or disconnect the bluetooth device. On the second option there is an option for the mini robots. So select the firmware version from here and then click on download. Once downloaded, you can flash the firmware. After that, 
The MFM stack screen will show multiple options like main control, calibration, transponder and information. You can click up and down buttons to select the options. Selecting the information options gives the details about servos and firmware. To execute them, press A, B and C buttons. So checking the connection test gives OK message. Click on the firmware version that gives the robot version as version 2.90 and the basic version as version 1.0. Now go back and check the transponder option. When you click A, it will display that the atom is OK and testing is done. Now go to the calibration code. Select the version. Then click on download. Click on flash. Now as in the display screen, you can calibrate the servos. To do that, press A, B, C as for screen options. Then you can press button A to do the calibration of all the six servos. To test the servo, press the button B. The servo will move automatically and complete the calibration. You can see the automatic testing going on the screen and the robot are moving in all the direction. To check the connect test again, press the C button. So everything looks fine here. In the part of application, there is an option for phone app control. So click here. A GitHub link will appear with a QR code. You can scan the code for downloading the Android app. The app is only available for Android currently, so download it and install it on your Android phone. So after installation, open the app. So this is the UI you can see here it looks awesome and with the help of this app you can manually control the robot. Before using this app, install the basic BL firmware to the M5 stack as explained earlier. In the app, when you click on the Bluetooth logo, there will be a pop-up asking for enabling and connecting the Bluetooth to M5 stack. So it's successfully connected now. Now using this you can control the forward, backward, up, down and all the six directional movements of the robot. As the robot is having 6 degrees of freedom, you can use this to control any movement. In this app, there is an also an option to select the hand option and enable the robot to control manually. When the robot is rotated manually, the change in coordinates can be observed in the app. More details about the robot can be found in the GitHub repository. It has a Python API, Arduino code, manual, software, tutorials, links, and other items. The best thing is the robot is Arduino programmable. And there are pre-written header files and libraries for this robot. Also, there are many examples already with the code like angle test, calibration, main control, encoder reading, PID control, and many others. Also, here are the Python code and examples to read the data from the Python directory. You can install some Python libraries and follow this repository for testing applications. And more about the app control can be found here, which I demonstrated earlier. This awesome robot can be directly purchased from the My Cobot link. It will be shipped to you in a week. I hope you like this video. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you so much for watching.